Ladies and gentlemen, there are some individuals whose lives are marked by extreme tragedy. But amongst these, there are those who refuse to be held back by circumstance. They keep pushing forward with superhuman strength and will, and that leads them to a breakthrough. That's right. We now have a very special speaker who has managed to achieve what many of us would consider impossible, something that goes beyond the limits of what was thought possible. She has proven herself to be one unstoppable Indian by becoming the first ever female amputee in the world to scale Mount Everest. Here is her story. <laughs> इक्कीस मई 2013 को जब एवरेस्ट की चोटी पे हम थे अपने देश का तिरंगा लगाया उस समय जो खुशी थी मेरे अंदर वो खुशी को शब्दों में बया कर पाना मेरे लिए बहुत मुश्किल है मैं और बहुत खुश हूँ Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the woman who has truly scaled heights and risen as a force of inspiration, Ms. Arunima Sinha. First of all, I want to thank you very much for the time that I have given you. मौका दिया बोलने का भी हॉस्पिटल के बेड पे पड़े पड़े वो मेरे लाइफ का सबसे वो पल आज भी हम कभी नहीं भूल सकते जिस लड़की का शरीर का अंग कट चुका उसको ये था कि शायद वो जिंदगी भर व्हील चेयर पर चलेगी कि बैसाखी पे उसके बाद ये सब चीज़ें ये प्लान किया हॉस्पिटल के बेड पे कि ये प्लान किया कि मुझे लाइफ का सबसे टफ गेम तब मैंने माउंटेनिंग चुना था फर्स्ट टाइम जब मैम बछिंद्री पाल से मिले उन्होंने जब फर्स्ट टाइम मुझे देखा और मेरे राइट लेग में स्टिचेज लगा था हॉस्पिटल से घर जाने की बजाय सीधा मैम से मिले थे मैम ने जब फर्स्ट टाइम मुझे देखा बोला कि रोनिमा तूने ऐसी हालात में एवरेस्ट जैसे दुरू पहाड़ के बारे में सोचा तो अपने अंदर तो एवरेस्ट फतह कर लिया अब तो सिर्फ लोगों के लिए एवरेस्ट की बात कहे लास्ट फ्रंट पॉइंटिंग जब क्योंकि मेरा आर्टिफिशियल पैर है जब स्टीप वॉल पर हम फ्रंट पॉइंटिंग मारते थे तो मेरा पैर ऐसे मूव कर जाता था मेरा शेरपा वो बोलता कि रोनिमा नहीं हो सकता तो उससे वापस चल मुझे बहुत अच्छी तरीके से पता था कि वो मेरा पैर है मैं जैसा चाहूँगी वैसा चलेगा एक बार मारे नहीं हिट हुआ दो बार मारे नहीं एटलीस्ट तीन चार बार करने पे वो हिट हो जाता था और लगातार हिट हिट मार मार के ऊपर पहुँचे टॉप पे पहुँचने के बाद सबसे पहले मैंने उन लोगों को धन्यवाद बोला था जिन जिन लोगों ने मेरी आलोचना की थी क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं से सबसे बड़े साथी मेरे वो थे कि अगर वो मेरी आलोचना नहीं करते मैं वहाँ तक कभी पहुँचती ही नहीं एक चार लाइन के पंक्ति बोलेंगे अभी तो इस बाँच की असली उड़ान बाकी है अभी तो इस परिंदे का इम्तहान बाकी है अभी अभी मैंने लांगा है समुद्रों को अभी तो पूरा आसमान बाकी है थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच अरुणिमा व्हाट अ ट्रूली इंस्पायरिंग स्टोरी यू आर एन अमेजिंग इंडिया Our next award category, four times now Amazing Indians, is Sri Shakti. Despite having equal rights in our constitution, women in this country constantly are subjected to inequalities and prejudices. This next award salutes women and men who are fighting for women's freedom and real empowerment. It also salutes women who stand for Shakti, who have achieved what few can imagine and are an epitome of strength themselves. Let's take a look at the nominees. Tanjali Babbar is empowering thousands of commercial sex workers in the biggest red light area of Delhi. Aparna Banerjee, a lady on a mission to empower women and make them independent entrepreneurs. Shravani Pawar is making the women of Hubli financially stable and self-reliant. Govind Singh, seeing his mother being ostracized, inspired this youngster to empower disadvantaged women to present the award for sri shakti we have with us a very distinguished guest 
His words keep his alliance partners on tenterhooks these days. A man who has been a member of both houses of parliament, an entrepreneur turned politician. And may I now call upon the Minister for Heavy Industries and Public Enterprise, Mr. Praful Patel. category of Stri Shakti and the winner is Gitanjali Babbar. This 27-year-old is empowering thousands of commercial sex workers and their children at Delhi's GB Road. She not only educates and trains these women but also instills in them the confidence that they are not alone. On a path few have dared to venture on Gitanjali Babar has touched the lives of thousands. Gitanjali couldn't join us tonight, but I believe we have her representative with us to accept the award on her behalf. Holding this award, actually I feel so empowered because this is not an award for uh, for me or Gitanjali, for anyone, but this is for those 4,000 faceless women who are living in, living in uh, the brothels of GB Road. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. A few words from you. Amazing India and even more amazing Indians. I think uh, today's evening, we are recognizing many unsung heroes who would have gone unnoticed and uh, probably some of the you know, very heart-moving moments we've heard just now from many of the recipients this evening. As somebody who also represents a rural constituency in the country, I can see the change which is sweeping even in the rural areas as far as women are concerned. I think this is truly, many people strive for recognition. Even in our field, people strive for recognition by doing less. Here we've seen people who've done so much more, but yet are not even wanting that recognition. So congratulations, Arnab. Congratulations, Times Now, and to all the winners. Thank you so much, sir. Our most precious resource is the environment. And as the damages it sustains increase, there are a precious few individuals who are doing much more than their bit to restore its health and vitality. The next award category for Times Now Amazing Indians Awards is the Eco Saviors. This category is dedicated to people who are driven by a deep commitment to conserve our fragile ecosystems and preserve our precious resources. These are individuals who have taken it upon themselves to increase the green quotient of the country. So let's take a look at the nominees. <laughs> Jagat Singh Chaudhary built an entire forest that is home to more than a hundred varieties of trees. Uddhav Khedekar saved the drought-prone village of Shivni in Maharashtra with his water conservation techniques. Chami Murmu, protecting the green cover in her village, is her only mission. Sammilan Shetty, his unique butterfly park in Mangalore, is home to 114 species of these winged beauties. To present the award for the Eco Saviors, I'd like to invite someone very special, extremely articulate, a seasoned politician, and never short of a repartee, a man for all seasons. May I invite the Minister for Science and Technology, Mr. Jaipal Reddy. The winner is Chami Murmu. This tribal woman has converted acres of barren land across 50 villages in Charkhand into lush green forest covers. She has created self-help groups led by women who are the guardians of these forests. 
Chammi has planted close to 25 lakh trees. We salute this eco savior for her relentless efforts. ग्रामीण लोग भी बहुत विरोध करते थे महिला संगठन क्यों जरूरी होती है हम लोग को बैठक करने भी नहीं देती थी आज हमारे साथ महिला लोग पंद्रह हजार स्वयं सहायता समूह है और सब मिलकर हम लोग अपना क्षेत्र को विकास के लिए पर्यावरण को सुधारने के लिए हम लोग चर्चा करते हैं और काम में लगे हैं Averting nuclear catastrophe, no other cause is more important than preservation of ecology and environment. This uh, recognition is growing among the people, even as people from higher classes are aspiring to consume more power, display more luxury. However, I really thank the Times Now, Arnav Goswami, and Mr. Mahendra for having sponsored this wonderful program because greatness exists in so many ordinary Indians. We seem to focus on only celebrities, which in my view include leading politicians, I think, there's greatness in so many other places. I'm so happy that such examples of greatness are being found out and recognized. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, sir. Thank you. Congratulations, Chami. Not being an Indian hasn't stopped them from spearheading change in our country. The next category in the Times Now Amazing Indians Awards recognizes those who may not be Indian by birth, but are definitely Indian at heart. The Indian at heart category celebrates those individuals who've made India their home. Their connection to this nation is so deeply personal that they are doing more for their adopted land than many natives. Their work for India is truly exemplary and inspiring. Let's take a look at the nominees. <laughs> Chandra is on a mission to walk across all the 28 states to spread the message of love and compassion. Bob and Jean Harrison are leaving no stone unturned to rescue donkeys and horses in the Delhi NCR region. Lisa Hagelhoff has been working for more than a decade to create young social entrepreneurs. Udo and Wilma Gastel have been selflessly working towards the welfare of disabled and underprivileged children. To present the award for the Indian at heart, I would like to call on stage an eminent political worker, an author, a distinguished parliamentarian, the man who leads the charge in Rajya Sabha as an opposition member. Ladies and gentlemen, may I welcome on stage Mr. Sitaram Yachuri. Indian at heart, the winner of this category is Ms. Lisa Hedloff. With the conviction that a beautiful story can change a child's life, Lisa's Education Trust designs artistic graphic novels which contain stories of young heroes who braved all odds to go to school. Having reached out to 87,000 children in Bihar, Lisa hopes to create young social entrepreneurs. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Hedloff. <laughs> Lisa, 
Peter, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. This award has a lovely name. I'm honored to be Indian at heart. <laughs> Extremely honored. Many years ago, I came to India because of a story, and that's what we do at going to school. We create stories to inspire the poorest children to learn skills at school. We're honored to work with the government of Bihar in 870 secondary schools, teaching children entrepreneurial skills at school. They're in grade nine, so they're about 12 to 14. So my hope is about four years, you'll have thousands of amazing young Indians <laughs> to give awards to, <laughs> who will be changing the world around them because of the skills they learned at school. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, it's uh, indeed amazing, because we've always thought of an amazing India, and more importantly, amazing Indians without whom this amazing country would not be alive and vibrant. This is a tribute to them, this uh, conception of this function. I must congratulate the Times now, my friend Arunab, and everybody, and the Mahindras for sponsoring this. But what is indeed amazing today, and I'm really honored to give this award to Lisa, that India has also inspired non-Indians who've come here and then decided not merely to stay back, but to contribute to this amazing mosaic that we have in our country. And indeed, thank you very much for your contributions in making India as it is, and hoping that it will continue to be a more amazing India in the future. Thank you very much for the economy. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Lisa. Coming up, the winners in our Young Indian Big Achievements category. Oh.